Hello, my name is Abonua. Today I'm going to be reading Little Miss Stubborn and the Unexpected Holiday by Roger Haygoose. Little Miss Stubborn cannot agree with anyone. She argues all the time. When she disagrees with Little Miss Brady on the size of Little Island, what length will she go to make her point? And who will help her out when she gets into a spot of bothering? Please read along with me and subscribe to my channel to make it cool. Thank you. Stubborn and the Unexpected Holiday. Roger Hergoves. On this particular day, Little Miss Stubborn had invited Little Miss Prainy and Mr. Greedy round for a hot chocolate. But Little Miss Brainy and Little Miss Stubborn couldn't agree on anything. Not on how hot the hot chocolate should be, nor on how chocolatey the hot chocolate should be, nor even on what cold hot chocolate should be called. All I know is that this hot chocolate is extremely good, said Mr. Greedy between mouthfuls. Perhaps we should change the subject. Does anybody know how big Little Island is? But of course, once again, Little Miss Spring and Little Miss Stubborn couldn't agree. Little Miss Stubborn was sure that it was one meter long and two meters wide. Little Miss Brainy was sure that it was two meters long and one meter wide. If you won't believe me, then you will have to go there yourself to check, said Little Miss Brainy crossly. So what do you think Little Miss Stubborn did next? She went there to check, of course. Little Miss Stubborn isn't called Stubborn for nothing. Are we at Little Island? Asked Little Miss Stubborn as the plane landed. No, Little Miss Stubborn, replied the pilot. The island you're looking for is over there. You have to get to it by boat. Little Miss Stubborn found a sailor and asked him if he would take her to the island, but he refused because a storm was on its way. That didn't stop Little Miss Stubborn. Of course, there would be a storm, she said. I'd like to buy your boat. But the sailor was right. There was a storm. A big storm. The waves grew larger and larger. They crashed against the side of Little Miss Stubborn's small boat until... Finally, one particularly large wave kicked the boat over completely and Little Miss Stubborn was thrown into the sea. Little Miss Stubborn swam with all her might until eventually exhausted. She collapsed onto the sand of Little Island. She fell into a deep sleep. But she woke up to a surprise. You'll never guess what it was. Little Miss Tiny said Little Miss Stubborn. What a surprise. What are you doing here? I come to Little Island every year for a little holiday. Replied Little Miss Tiny. Are you on holiday as well? But little Miss Stubborn didn't have time to chat. How tall are you? she asked. Rather rudely. Five centimeters exactly, replied little Miss Tiny, surprised. Little Miss Stubborn had lost her tape measure in the storm, but that wasn't going to stop her. She had the perfect way to measure that island. 5 plus 5, that's 10, plus 5 is 15, and so on, until Little Miss Tiny was quite dizzy. 
just as I thought. Little Island is exactly one meter long by two meters wide, said little Miss Stubborn triumphantly. And without explaining her strange behavior to little Miss Tiny, she called out to a passing boat and hurried home, leaving little Miss Tiny to enjoy her little holiday in peace. Two meters long by two meters wide, said little Miss Stubborn much later than night to a sleepy little Miss Brain who had forgotten all about that disagreement. A few days later, little Miss Brain invited little Miss Stubborn round for tea. Mr. Greedy was also invited and he had already finished all the biscuits by the time the others had sat down. There was a question written here in the biscuit tin. He said, licking his last crumbs from his fingers, How far is it from the earth to the moon? 384,400 kilometers, said little Miss Brainy without a second thought. How can you be so sure? asked little Miss Tubber. It's written in all the books, replied little Miss Brainy. But, she added mischievously, if you don't believe me, do check for yourself. Little Miss Tubber took a deep breath. Very well then, I will. She said stubborn, and all she went to call on her friend, Little Miss Tiny.